with you, we on some high court. Like I told Tish, I see when I shoot. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, as you can see, we made it all the way to Master 1 late last night. I wasn't able to push all the way to Master 2 because I came to New York very late, but we now have this amazing chest to open up. So hopefully we get something good from this chest, and we also have all these other chests at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, we will be popping those open, but getting into this chest right here, 4914 gold. We can go ahead and take some bats here, no problem there at all whatsoever. Let's see what's coming in into the next card. Spear Goblins or Skeletons, that's kind of lame, but let's take Spear Goblins just because Skeletons can be level 1 and they still have the same function. We're definitely going to take the Mini P.E.K.K.A. here, that went really quickly. We're going to take the Tornado as well so we can finally get that all the way up to level 6. And with the last card, two Legendaries, Double Spin, that's super cool. Let's take the Ice Wizard for sure. We already got our Graveyard to level 3 and the Ice Wizard just needs one more to get to level 3 just in case he receives some kind of a monstrous buff. So now we are reset back to Challenger 1 because I wasn't above 4900 but let's see if we get anything nice from these free chests. Nothing in the first one, nothing super exciting in the second one. We have this gold chest to pop open. Anything really good here? Not really, we're going to take in some 3 Musketeers, although they are very strong right now, mine aren't that good for the ladder. In this giant chest, we're going to get some heals, Barbarians, and then Bats, 140 Bats, so that's pretty nice. And then we're going to get 49 Mini P.E.K.K.A., so pretty solid, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to be leveling up pretty soon. We also have this Epic Chest in the shop, so for these next 3 chests, I will be opening them up in between each battle. And for today's video, we are going to run a Lava Hound Balloon combination. I haven't ran the Lava Hound recently just because everybody, and I mean everyone, and their mother is running the Executioner and the Tornado combination, and it is so hard to get a Lava Hound Loon to the tower because all you need is an Executioner and a Tornado. 8 Elixir to stop, a 13, 14, 15 Elixir push with the Balloon and the Minions following it, but anyways, let's hop into some Grand Challenge matches with the Lava Hound Balloon combination up against Chiga in the first game. We've got a decent starting hand. I usually like to have... My Lava Hound, just in case I want to go super aggressive, but we'll go with the Mega Minion here in the back right to match his Night Witch. And now let's see what's coming next. With the Night Witch, it could be any kind of deck. He's got an Executioner, so just like I was saying, why I don't like running this deck. First game, we are already up against an Executioner Tornado. I won't say that it's impossible to beat, but it is definitely very hard. Especially if they can get the Executioner down the same lane as your Lava Hound. There, I just played it as a decoy. We did get him to waste that Tornado there, which does open up the alley for the Balloon. That's what's really good, though. You have to play it very smart. He's got this Hog Rider and Fire Spirits coming in here on the left side. So we'll let those Fire Spirits land, eat all that damage, and then we'll attack with the Goblin Gang. Let's push right back at him with the Balloon since he does not have that Tornado. The only way we're going to be able to win this game here is if we bait out the Executioner on the wrong side or make him use the Tornado wrong. As you can see there, he missed his Tornado on the right and now we got two Balloon Drops onto his tower and just like that, we've got his left tower all the way down to 242. So now we can just Lightning it out for the win. So what I'm going to do now is push on the right hand side with the Lava Hound and Balloon and have him countering through that wing instead, instead of pushing towards the left hand side since our tower is obviously already down to 469. So now we're starting with a slow Lava Loon of our own. I think we have a huge Elixir lead because he is still not playing any cards here. So I'm going to play a Mega Minion or regular Minions. I'm still not seeing anything. I need to get my Balloon down in time. Maybe he Rage Quitted. Maybe he Disconnected really quickly. Either way, let's take advantage of the opportunity. We've got our Lava Hound Mega Minion. And now the Goblin Gang coming in hot. Let's send in the Balloon as well. And that should be that tower. 100% sure. Let's see if we can get a quick 3 crown before he reconnects. There he goes with the Executioner. And check this out. Look at that huge push I have going on. Something like 16 worth of Elixir. Let's count it. The Lava Hound is 7, the Balloon is 5, Goblin Gang is 3, and the other minions are 3, so 6, 5, 11, plus 7, 18 Elixir stopped by an Executioner and Tornado. Absolutely crazy, he's got this uh, Hog Rider coming back at us now, let's go Goblin Gang on defense. And I think we're going to be able to win this game just because he either disconnected or stopped trying for a little bit, so we will get lucky here in this first game. We do have his left tower down into Lightning Range, so we're just going to keep playing up the right hand side of the map. There goes his Hog Rider on the left. I'm not going to spend any Elixir to defend that. We're going to keep pushing here on the right-hand side just to block him from getting to this tower. And then at the very last second, we'll send the Lightning on the tower and secure the W. So now he has a pretty deadly push coming back at us. 
with the Executioner and the Night Witch. Let's try and stop this here. The Lava Hound will take control of the Bats and of the Executioner, and then we should be all good. Six seconds left, five seconds. I don't think he's going to be able to get to this tower in time. He's got the Hog Rider coming in hot. We're going to send a Lightning right here and secure the first victory of the day with the Lava Hound Balloon deck. So go ahead and try this deck out. This deck is very strong. Trust me, it is very strong, especially if you don't run into a Lava or into an Executioner combo, you will be just all right. But let's pop open this epic chest, see if we get anything. Well, epic. And we're going to open this first card up. That's going to be a clone spell, balloons, guards, and we're going to get 14 skeleton armies. I wish they had flipped that around and gave me 14 balloons because the balloon is a lot cooler than the clone. Let's hop right into this next battle. Up against Agid and see if we can secure another victory with the Lava Hound balloon combination. This is the kind of starting hand I like to see. In case they go for a very strong golem push on the other side, then we're just going to switch lanes on them, go Lava Loon, and then use our, our arrows in case they have the minion horde. But since he is not playing anything, I am going to play this Lava Hound early. He's going to play a graveyard, so let's go with minions to counter the graveyard. Goblin Gang to counter the knight, and I think we will be good here. He does have that poison. It came in just a little bit late, so we will be cleaning up this graveyard push relatively easy all of his skeletons going down there i say easy but look at how much damage we took there our tower is down to 1825 he has that e -whiz on the left hand side what we can do here is use our lightning since he did go in super aggressive we will lightning the e -whiz as soon as the lava hound is about to pop so that the pups can do some work on this tower he has those goblins going down so very well played that'll distract our pups for just a little bit those two pups going back to the tower now ready to do some work and we took his tower all the way down to 15, 13, so not too bad. I will take that trade any day of the week, twice on Sundays. But look here, with this kind of a deck, I love playing Graveyard because Lava Hound is a three crown deck. You can easily take a tower whenever you want to if they don't have the Tornado and the Executioner. So once we take the first tower, we won't be any in any problems at all because Graveyard cannot take the second tower easily. He's got all this. Let's play our Mega Minion on top of that. That'll counter Eight Elixir relatively easy if he doesn't play another card. And now we have our minions down for his Graveyard. If he counters that, we are definitely shredding that left tower. He is not going to counter. It doesn't look like it. He's going to play a baby dragon instead on the left-hand side to make sure that we don't have any ridiculous push going on because if we get there, it is definitely over. Let's support with the balloon coming in hot. Although this is a uh, graveyard deck. So let's see. Does he have that tornado? He's got the baby dragon, the bowler. There is the tornado. Saw that one coming. That's going to splash down our balloon. Our balloon is doing its best, though, to get to that tower. Can the balloon get there? The balloon was basically on top of the tower, but did not decide to drop a bomb. Overall, we will still get the death damage. So now we have his right tower down to 1056. I don't even know what happened on that side, but we're going to push Lava Hound here on the left-hand side. The three Elixir Minions are so good at countering the Graveyard, so we will be forcing a Poison out once he gets a push going there on the right side. Instead, he's going to go with an e -whiz here to counter our Lava Hound. And Balloon, I'll play my Mega Minion in the back to slowly move its way up towards that bowler and take it out. He's got his Knight and all this coming in. That's Lighting the Dragon. The E-Wiz and the tower gets some insane value. Tower is down to 580. Hopefully, we can get this balloon to the tower. Yes, there goes the tornado. Saw that one coming, but I think he played it a little bit early, although he does have the E-Wiz again, and we will be getting some death damage at the very least, or actually, we're going to take that tower, and the Mega Minion on the right is going to get some swings off on that tower. Goblin Gang in the center coming in hot, trying to take the second tower. Let's filter in some more skeletons, and just like that, we have all this mess going on here, and it looks, it looks like we're going to get a three crown. Very good cleanup with the Lava Hound deck. That's what I usually expect when I play this deck. Even if they have Tornado, the Lava Hound is so good. It is a three crowning machine. Second only to the Golem. So that's going to put us at 2-0 in this Grand Challenge. Let's go over here and pop open a Magical Chest. We're going to get some Archers, Fire Spears, Hog Rider, 9 Heal Spells, 66 Teslas, 10 Bomb Towers, no Legendary. We're going to take 4 Balloons instead. So I will definitely take that very nicely getting some Balloons. Let's hop into one more. One more battle here. See if we can make it 3-0 with this deck. Up against Double B underscore 33 from Insurgents. We have a pretty decent starting hand with the skeleton or with the tombstone on defense. Mega Minion on defense. He's going to start with his pump. This is where I wish I had my balloon. If someone pumps up and you're running the Lava Hound balloon combination, all you have to do is drop your Lava Hound, drop your balloon, and hopefully have arrows or lightning in hand or something to counter whatever they decide to counter it with. And then you should usually take the tower. Although since he did play that Mega Minion, let's go for a Lightning. A great valuable Lightning taking down the tower, Pump, and the Mega Minion. So not too bad of a start. He does have the Night Witch. Night Witch, Pump, Mega Minion, Baby Dragon. So 100%. I can bet you guys a $100 
Google or iTunes gift card that he is definitely running that Golem deck 100%. He's got his Baby Dragon coming back at us. And now he's playing another Elixir Collector in the back. Since he's going super aggressive, I am now sure about it that he is definitely running that deck. And I will definitely give out 10 different $10 Google Play cards or iTunes gift cards if he isn't running a Golem deck. And now we're going to go in here with the Goblin Gang and the Mega Minion going towards that tower. They're moving its best, but they're going to get zapped down. Hopefully the Mega Minion here can clean up. And now we can start with a Lava Hound in the back. I was hoping that he did use a pump there. That would have been very nice for us, but no pumps coming out. He's going with a Night Witch instead, which is very difficult to deal with because she continually spawns bats. And I can't even arrow because if I arrow, more bats are going to come anyways. We've got our balloon ready, but that's going to be going right into a death trap with the Night Witch and with the Baby Dragon sitting there. Let's go ahead and focus on the Night Witch instead, and we will worry about whatever comes after it later on. And he has another pump going down. Let's try and get the Baby Dragon in this lightning. Baby Dragon dip scene, and just like that, we are going to take so much damage here on this tower from the Baby Dragon, the bats, the goblins, all of this doing so much work. And now we have zero elixir as he plays his golem and as he has a pump on the tower on the ground. So now we are definitely, definitely screwed. The only thing you can do in a situation like this is push the opposite lane and rush for a three crown because that is the only thing we can do here. He does have that Mega Minion and he has the Baby Dragon, so it's going to be very difficult. But there is no way we are stopping that push with this deck. We just have to go for it. We're going in hot. Balloon's coming, but look at all that mess on the left-hand side. That tower is going to disappear before I can even get anywhere near that tower. Balloon will get one drop off onto the tower. Not too bad, but we will be three crowned here in just a second. Mega Minion going down. Unfortunately, it is targeted onto the Golem instead of the Night Witch. So the Night Witch is doing so much work. Tombstone trying to help out on defense. We didn't even get anything happening there on the right side. And just like that, we got absolutely nailed. Absolutely hammered by the Golem deck. That deck is so powerful, especially if you get a couple of pumps down before double elixir time. You will definitely be massacred, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's pop up in this last magical chest. Some battle rams, archers. What else are we going to get here? Wizards, bombers, infernal towers. No legendary again. Instead, we will get the dirty x -roll. Let's try and get that thing to level 7, and maybe we can push with it. So here's the deck for you guys one more time. Lava Hound Balloon with the Goblin Gang, Minions, Mega Minions, Arrows, Lightning, and the Tombstone. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, and Brawl Stars content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!